so let us come back and do 2015 16 paper so <clears throat> let us read the question write the structural difference between starch and cellulose it's basically a uh, three mark structure as we know they've asked you to write only the structural difference right if you have time if you like after completing the paper if you still have time you can draw the structure and show but they are asking you to write the structural difference don't start writing the properties this one that one no not required basically divide your page like this and write your starch and your cellulose correct right now we very well know both are made up of uh, your glucose units correct so almost 4000 glucose units it's combined one after the other okay, because it is an uh, oligosaccharide fine so first important thing you have to write the main difference here starch we very well know it is made up of alpha d glucose units correct alpha d glucose units cellulose is made up of beta d glucose units so please watch the video theory video which i have drawn yes first important now how where are they link here also this is linked at c1 and c4 linkages here also it is c1 and c4 linkages correct yes but so this is what they want you to show if you, as i said if you still have time i even always include it is it was almost contained 2000 to 4000 glucose units this also is the same yes so uh, still uh, as i said if you have time draw the structure and show the linkages Yes, this is one question but this is only for one mark then then they have asked you what is the type of linkage present in nucleic acids we've already seen phosphodiester linkages remember in nucleic acids nucleic acids the bond form is phosphodiester linkages again i'm specifying specifying if you have time i don't think one mark it is required they will not expect you to draw the phosphodiester linkages but you can always write the name and leave it so phosphodiester linkages five prime three prime linkage and you can include the structure yes done and uh, what is the bond form present in proteins yes so proteins is your peptide bonds correct remember that now let us come back give an example of fibrous protein and globular protein they asked right now just again divide examples they've asked fibrous proteins and globular proteins okay right simple so when i speak about fibrous proteins in fibrous proteins then the form of a threads fibers correct here in the form they've called together in form of a globule right so basically fibrous proteins have strong hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonds you can write like this and globular proteins have weak hydrogen bonds weak hydrogen bonds done simple and they want us to write the examples so right uh, fibrous proteins in a hair so what does it called keratin correct keratin and also in your collagen this uh, it's a tissue which is present in the cells of the skin correct so you can write elastin also is present underneath the skin cells collagen also collagen keratin elastin collagen the best examples for fibrous proteins so if you speak about globular proteins heme hemoglobin is the best example to give that only will be there in the key hemoglobin hemoglobin is the best example for or this one for globular proteins so this is how you're going to write your three marks it will include everything every detailing is shown in the paper you'll be getting full three marks in this